Hey internet friends, good morning, welcome or welcome back to the Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. Today I have a really exciting topic to share about which we're going to get into for a second. But before we get into that, um, if you are new or if it's been a while since you visited, hi, welcome, my name is Sierra, I'm an American who lives in the UK and I make videos about my life and videos about other things I'm excited about. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be making a lush video, which if you've been around for a while and you're a subscriber, you know that I make lush videos occasionally, not as much as I used to, but I still really enjoy making them because they're really fun. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and take a second and you can become one of my subscribers. Um, you can join the little Sustainable Sierra YouTube family because that's always a lot of fun. Anyways, um, in today's video, you guys know we have a very excited topic. It's one of the videos I love to make every single year. It's usually the video I'm most excited about and that is my lush Christmas video. I'm probably going to be making two Christmas videos this year because I usually do a haul, haul video. However, one of the new things I've really had a lot of fun doing, I think you guys have been doing as well as I've been doing reaction videos to leak photos that I find on Instagram. Speaking of which, if you're in the Lush Instagram space, you already know that last night on the Lush Sense Instagram page, which I will link in the description of the video by the way, not really sure who runs it, so trying to figure that out. The images of the Christmas products for 2044 and I'm very excited about it. So honestly at like midnight last night I was getting ready for bed and I saw it and I was super excited to get up this morning and film this video for you guys. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go through the Instagram pictures on my phone and I'm gonna talk about the products and tell you which ones I'm most excited about and all that good stuff. So according to the Lush Sense page it looks like there's about 10 different selections of photos which are really exciting and they start out with snow fairies which if you've been around my channel for a while you know Lush from my Lush Christmas videos that I am just not a fan of Snow Fairy. I think that Snow Fairy as a concept is really, really beautiful. I think that all the products are gorgeous, but the smell to me, I'm just not a big fan of it. People say that it smells like bubblegum and like sweet. To me personally, I think it smells like feet with glitter on it. I'm sorry, I said what I said. But in all honesty, the products are really gorgeous and I love looking at them. So I'm gonna talk about them even though they're not my favorites. Okay, so coming up to the first Snow Fairy section, there are three different posts on here about Snow Fairy. So as usual, Lush went all out with Snow Fairy this year, but it's a bestseller, so I completely get it. All right, so first up for Snow Fairy this year, it looks like Lush is gonna be re-releasing their Snow Fairy shampoo. I'm gonna share photos that I can find up here or on this side, I'm not sure where, but I think it's the same as it was before. It's just a pink sparkly shampoo, which who doesn't love a pink sparkly shampoo? And then once again, they're gonna be bringing back the fairy dust dusting powder, which I don't know if you know how dusting powders work. They have one in the regular range called Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. Um, it works pretty much the same way, but I, in general, I love dusting powders in the winter because in the winter it's cold and dusting powders are designed to soak up moisture or just help you feel really soft and sparkly, especially this one. I have used it in store before and it does make your skin really sparkly. Um, again, just not a huge fan of the scent, but as far as like a um, product, it's a very light pink color. And so if you just want some sparkle without some color added to it, it kind of blends in with the skin if you have like a lighter skin tone, which is great. Next up, oh, it looks like we have a new product that again is really pretty. I'm probably gonna say really pretty like a thousand times in this video. So if you wanna do like a tally section, let me know how many times I say it in the comment section, feel free to do that. Um, but anyways, um, the Snow Fairy Mountain Bubble Bar is again, Snow Fairy scented, but I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna say that again. It's pink, it looks almost like it's like a slice. That looks really fun, okay. Next one, they're gonna be bringing out, it looks like a Snow Fairy Two-Tone Jelly Shower Gel. So does this just mean like a Snow Fairy shower jelly, but it's two-toned. It's really pretty as you can see. Actually, to me in the picture, it looks more like three-toned because the way that the different pinks match. Actually, you know what it really looks like? It kind of looks like, you know, Glenda, like, like the Wizard of Oz. That's what it looks like, her bubble, you know? Okay, next, we're bringing back a returning product. We have the Groovy Fairy Bath Bomb, which I actually got this for one of my nieces last year and she loved it. Another returning product is they have the Snow Fairy Lush Melt, which is another one of those wax melts you can put, you know, like under, above like a candle with a little dish or something. Um, I don't know if Lush actually sells those. They don't, they should, because they would definitely buy one for all the other ones, okay? And then again, another returning product, they're gonna be bringing out the Snow Fairy Bath Bomb. It is the same design as last year, it's just pink and swirly. Okay, and then another new item they're coming out with this year is another shower gel product and it is called the Snow Fairy Milkshake Shower Gel. So it's again really pretty. It's, I think it's just gonna be like the Snow Fairy Shower Gel but like milky colored, maybe a little bit more moisturizing. There's no ingredient list here. It just says a new product. And then we have one more returning product in this set and it is the Snow Fairy Jelly Lip Mask. Oh, that sounds really interesting. I actually wonder if it's just gonna taste like bubble gum. That one I'd actually enjoy. we we'll have to check that out in the store. Moving forward, we have part two of the Snow Fairy collection. Let's have a look. All right, first one is an oldie but a goodie that comes out a couple of times as Snow Fairy Roll Bubble Bar. Um, 
yeah. It looks pretty much just like all the other rolled bubble bars, like the fluffy light clouds. What other one comes like that? The witchy one that's coming out for Halloween. Same idea, just different colors and different scents. And then we have another returning product again, the Snow Fairy Shower Jelly. She's a little fairy that jiggles and she's really cute. And then they have the Glow Fairy Shower Gel, which is a new product this year. And I don't really know what I think about this. I wonder if it's going to be like Snow Fairy Shower Gel with, with like glowing um, stuff added to it. That would be really cool. Because I assume a Snow Fairy would glow in the dark, right? That would make sense. Okay. And then another returning bath bomb, we have the Snow Fairy Lights bath bomb. That's the one that has the top and some bath bomb dust inside. It's like a two part. Um, I haven't used the Snow Fairy one, but I've used similar ones and you can use like half for one bath or like half for another, which is really fun. Okay. And then another returning product, we have a classic, the Snow Fairy body lotion. I think it's sparkly. Sometimes it's sparkly. It'll be interesting to find out if this one is sparkly or not. Okay. Snow Fairy fun is coming out again, which is like the, um, squishy play-doh soap that's really fun to use and then the classic snow fairy shower gels and then of course the snow fairy body spray is coming out because i'm pretty sure if it didn't come out there would be some kind of like revolt or revolution or something and then the snow fairy soap is coming out again and it looks the same as it did two years ago moving on to part three of the snow fairy collection the snow fairy body scrub is coming out oh that's really interesting i think this is new this year right yeah yeah so i actually did see another leaked photo about a week ago it was like some developmental like shots that someone had posted in one of my like lush face group groups that i'm on um and it looks like here it's single colored but in the leaked photo that i saw before it was like multicolored. so maybe it was just an idea and then next they're bringing out this snow fairy bubble blower bubble bar which is like a bubble blowing bubble bar that snow fairy scented and then they're coming out with a three wick snow fairy candle which is re returning this year and then there's just one more snow fairy product there actually we don't have a photo for on here but it is called the snow fairy glitter shower gel um which again a fourth shower gel variety all right moving on to the next section we're gonna move on to bath which is my favorite section every single year although i do love the shower section also but anyways bath products let's go okay gotta switch hands and getting kind of tired all right so oh first one I actually saw this one on the original leak photos that I actually didn't have a time to make a video for but it is a Christmas capybara bath bomb this is adorable I'm not really sure what capybaras have to do with Christmas but who doesn't love a capybara as far as scent for the capybara bath bomb it is going to be the number nine the ballistic sentence so that's lime sweet wild orange and olibanum or frankincense okay Next thing, we have another returning product is the Sweet Pudding Bath Bomb, which has come out before, and I think that one is pink fun scented, um, like it's a very like sweet, like vanilla-y scent, okay? And then we have a new one. Oh, this one is so cute. It's my favorite so far. It is the Dreaming of a White Christmas Bath Bomb. It's so cute. It's like a little snow globe. I love that. And it is scented with cardamom, jasmine, and ylang ylang. Um, delicious. Sign me up. I will take 10. I don't have space for 10, but you know what I mean. Okay. Next one, we have another returning product and that is the snow drift bath bomb, which I think is the Outback make scent. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, which is eucalyptus and um, peppermint scent. Okay. Next we have another returning product. We have the cute, the adorable, the favorite catch me if you can bath bomb. It's shaped like a gingerbread cookie and it's very spicy and gingery, which is awesome. Moving on to the next one, we have the elf on the shelf bath bomb. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. He's got his like little like pink cheeks. I wonder if it's going to be jilted elf scented. Mm, no, it's going to be elf shake scented, which is a little bit different. And elf shake is sweet wild orange oil and ylang ylang oil. Next one is another new product. It is the Snow Queen Bath Bomb. Wow. That one is so, so pretty. And it's going to be peppermint, bergamot, and sweet wild orange oil. It looks like Elsa to me. Maybe it's supposed to be Elsa. How cute would it be to do like a snow fairy and snow queen bath? I'm going to have to try that. You then get myself to like snow fairy i really want to like snow fairy i just i just don't and it makes me really sad okay next one we have the frosty the snowman bath bomb which is just a little white bath bomb i'm sad they didn't make his nose orange and then next one we have it's called the mother christmas bath bomb which is super cute she looks just like more like a little grandma to me but she's pink and adorable and she is scented with the yummy yummy scent so that's going to be strawberry olibanum geranium and bergamot that sounds like it's going to be amazing I love a yummy yummy so yeah i'm awesome okay next section i actually need to change positions here i feel like i'm sitting too long in the same spot and my feet are gonna fall asleep or something <laughs> moving on we have another bath section we're gonna start with the first item is another bath bomb and it is the star of wonder bath bomb which 
Is it just me or has Lush used this mold before? Let me know in the comment section. But Star of Wonder Bath Bomb is really cute and it's going to be the North Pole scented which is new for this year. The scent is not new but like the product is new which is a vanilla, peppermint, and cocoa which North Pole I'm a big fan of. That's a good one. Okay. Um, next item is a returning product that it has had a makeover and it is the Sleepy Bear Bath Bomb. Sleepy Bear used to be like a little sleeping polar bear with like a little purple nose and sometimes he had a little purple throughout his body um but this year he looks like he's just gonna be plain white with some little spots on him but it's gonna be the same scent still sleepy so that's lavender and tonka bean and a little bit of ylang ylang okay next we have a returning product which i have not seen before so i bet this might be a retro product but it's called the humbug bath bomb which looks like to me like a little like licorice candy but according to the scent it's going to be cassia and clove so really warming and nice I don't know what I think about the colors though. I usually wouldn't pick up a black and white bath bomb, but if it's gonna be Cassia and Clove, I'm gonna have to pick up one of those up, okay? Next we have another returning product, which I actually have one of them right here. Um, it looks like according to the picture, the color's gonna be the same, and it is the Penguin bath bomb. He's still gonna be the olive branch scented, so that's bergamot, lemon, orange, flower, and red mandarin. Okay, cool. All right, next one is a returning product but not a returning product um back in the day it used to be a bubble wand but they're gonna be bringing out the magic christmas bubble bar which looks pretty much exactly like the snow fairy bubble bar just in different colors i think magic christmas bubble bar was like my second lush christmas um it was this reusable one that was on a cinnamon stick that you could hold under the tap but i think i have a little bit of one somewhere in my collection i'm gonna have to check because now i'm curious but i've been hoarding it because i didn't want to lose the scent but um magic of christmas smells just like you would expect for christmas so cinnamon and grapefruit and holy and ginger so it's spicy it's warming it's delicious i need to buy at least two of those just so i keep the scent okay then we have another returning product an oldie but a goodie i think this one has been around forever and that is a shoot for the stars bath bomb shoot for the stars i think had its original makeover the blue and gold um my second lush christmas again um but before it was more of like a pastel color but yeah always a crowd pleaser it's honey i wash the kids so it's like a sweet honey scent although in the description it is listed orange bergamot and sweet toffee and the sweet toffee i think is what really comes through to give it like the honey i wash the kids scent and then we have another returning product and that is the bubble bear bubble bar which to me i feel like this sentence had another facelift let me know in the comment section maybe i'm just not remembering it correctly but bubble bear bubble bar um is really cute it's got a little red nose wait a second is that supposed to be like a rudolph polar bear but not a rudolph polar bear for anyone who works for the lush creation team let me know down in the comments i'd be curious to see if that was the inspiration um but he's going to be scented with the butterball scent so it's going to be cocoa musk and ylang ylang and then we have two more returning products in this section we have again the candy cane reusable bubble bar it's a little little pepperminty citrusy bubble bar that your kids can use i buy one for little man stocking every year because i always like to give him a candy cane and he loves it so that's really fun and then again the magic santa bath bombs coming out from last year and that was lemon and rosewood so i'm impressed i think that if they just stopped right here with all the greatness i would be happy with that however there is one more section on here of blush bath products so we're not gonna waste any more time let's have a look all right first one is very pretty it's another bubble bar swirl it is the sugar plum sparkle bubble bar which means the bath is gonna be really sparkly which is amazing and it's going to be the sugar plum fairy scent so it's sweet wild orange and then next up we have another new bath bomb and it's the santa's post box bath bomb wait a second i mean i think this is before my time but didn't this shape used to be like a post box soap or a bubble bar or something people who've been around to lush longer than i have please let me know down in the comments because i would love to know that but it's going to be petagrain mandarin and tangerine oil scented so this one is another bath bomb it's a santa's magic sleigh bath bomb which it says it's a new product but it looks different to me i think it's like a same similar design or maybe they just used the mold like a smaller version of the mold from the other santa one and shrunk it down and rearranged it the magic santa part is going to be lemon and rosewood and the bottom is going to be sleepy scented so that's lavender and tonka which is really cute okay and then we have two more under here that we don't have photos for the first one is called the first swim bubble bar no idea what that's going to look like out it's going to be outback make scented so maybe it'll be like a baby polar bear or maybe like a baby penguin that would be really cute i'm really excited to see that and then there's one more it's called the santa mortiz bubble bar it's going to be the needles and pine scented um i have no idea what that's going to be um but it's like a piney scent so like santa marie mortiz maybe like a dark santa like santa mortician 
I don't know, it's probably totally wrong. Moving on to my second favorite section, a little more practical part. I'm hoping for like a new, like really interesting shower gel. Um, I don't know, I'm excited, let's have a look. Okay, next we have a classic oldie but a goodie that I'm pretty sure there would be a riot if it didn't come out and it's the Yognog shower gel. It's a sweet caramel toffee scent. It smells so good for Christmas. It kind of, to me, smells like the taste of Christmas candy. So that's awesome. Next one is a new product. It's called the Night Before Christmas Delight Body Wash, which it's again, like it looks kind of like Turkish Delight, but it's like a sliced body wash. It's really fluffy. They've had a few of them come out over the years. It is scented with the Ooh La La slash Fresh Kiss scented. So it's going to be lavender and rosemary. Okay, cool. All right. Next one, they have a really cute shower jelly. It's called the Elfish Shower Jelly, which is this one Jilted Elf scented. No, it's also gonna be Elf Shake. And then we have another returning product that's one of my favorites, and it is the Christmas Cranberry Soap. Sweet Wild Iron and Cranberries. We keep it in our downstairs loo all, every Christmas season, and it's delicious. Everyone comments on it. And the next one, we have another soap. It's gonna be a returning product, the Snow Bear Soap. Cute little soapy polar bear. Although he does look a little bit different this year. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's been a while since I've seen him, but he's really cute and he is going to be still the snow bear scent. So Tonka, Mimosa, and Vanilla. And then next, another product that I actually saw again on the leaked photos from some email maybe, like with the original um, like ideas written on it, and it's the Intergalactic Body Scrub, which, oh, I completely forgot about this one now that it's jogging my memory. I'm so excited about it. I love Intergalactic. It's my one of my favorite scents from Lush, possibly my favorite. I don't know if I could pick a favorite, honestly, but I've always used intergalactic bath bombs and shower gels when I have a migraine because of the peppermint in it, and I think it's great to have a scrub finally to go with the collection. Next one is a new product. It's going to be the Christmas Light Soap, which it says that it's new on here, but I feel like they've had Christmas Light Soap before, no? Maybe they changed the scent? I don't know. Let's scroll down here and see. It is going to be Fernadal, Aris, and Oak Moss, so okay. So maybe it's just the scent has changed a little bit. Yeah, okay, next one we have another shower jelly, and it's the Snow Angel Choir Shower Jelly, and look at her. She is so cute. Although, I probably shouldn't assume that it's a she. I'm hoping, is it going to be the, like, Snow Angel scent? No, it's going to be the Super Milk scent, which is also really good, too. Super Milk, if you don't know what that is, it's lemon, listeria cubeba, and vanilla. It's the same scent as the Super Milk um, spray conditioner that actually Little Man uses as a conditioner, so that'll be really good. And then another oldie but a goodie, and it's the Baked Alaska Soap, which is... Lemon Myrtle, Yang Lang, and Grapefruit. So again, a great staple. I love that one, so no complaints there. I think I actually have some last year because I bought too much of it at the Boxing Day sale. But anyways, moving on to the next section. It looks like the second shower section, which is awesome, and let's have a look. So, oh, this is awesome. Okay, I saw this actually on the leaked photos as well, and it was the Shoots for the Stars body scrub. I assume it's going to be the same scent and the same idea as the bath bomb, but for people who have showers, which chef's kiss, I'm in. Um, is it time to buy this collection yet? When is it coming out, by the way? September 26th? It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be the same scent, of course, as the Honey I Wash the Kids and the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. So this is perfect for people who love the smell and the experience, except they don't have a bath so they can't enjoy it. So, wow, um, amazing. Makes me so excited. Okay, and then next one is going to be a shower gel, and it's a Sleepy Bear Shower Gel, which I said I was excited about a new shower gel coming out. So this one is going to be the Deep Sleep Scented, so Lavender, chamomile, and neroli, so a little bit different from the Sleepy Bell bubble bar, but I think it's still going to be really great. Actually, I have a couple of people in mind who I think would really enjoy this as a gift, so I'm going to have to get some of that one, okay? And then we have another Turkish Delight. It's called the Chris's Peppermint Delight Body Wash, so it's going to be a peppermint um, Turkish Delight squishy solid body wash and is going to be scented with the Abominable scent, so peppermint, vanilla, and orange. Yes, please. Okay, next one, we have the Intergalactic Soap, which is a returning product this year, and it's still peppermint, cedar, wood, and grapefruit oil. Okay, awesome. After that, we have a Polar Bear Dreaming Shower Jelly, which is new for this year, and he, again, is so cute. I feel like the shower jellies this year are almost too cute for words. I feel like Lush is pushing it every year, and they create an incredible collection every year, and somehow it's always better the next year. I, I don't know how they do it, but it's Wow. Okay, but that one is going to be scented with the Butterball scent again, so Cocoa Musk and Ylang Ylang Oil. Okay, cool. And then the next one is another soap, and it's the Christmas Pudding Soap, which is pink. So I, for some reason, assumed it would be brown because Christmas puddings are brown, but then again, the bath bomb is not. So anyway, it's going to be scented with 
the Angel's Delight scent, so it's going to be orange and tangerine. And then we have just one more in this section. It's the Laughing Santa Shower Jelly, which again, super cute. What are they doing? I don't have room for this many shower jellies in my shower lush. Can't you be thoughtful? Actually don't because I still want all of them, but do you know what I mean? Do you guys know what I mean? Anyways, um, Laughing Santa Shower Jelly is going to be strawberry heart scented. And then we have just one more in this section, except we don't have a photo for it, and that's going to be the Santa Express Yourself Fun. It looks like it's going to have one, two, three different scents in it. So it says it's going to be Toil and Trouble scented, so lavender peppermint. Um, so maybe purple. Watermelon sugar. So maybe pinky color. Um, avocado co-wash, so I think a green, and a sweet home pineapple scent. So pineapple, Devana, and Tonka, so maybe yellow. That would be really fun to play with, actually. I think Little Man would love that for his stocking. Okay, moving on to the next section, we're going to move forward to face, which I'm not going to lie, this first product is the one I am most excited about, and I've actually been missing it for the past couple of years. And if you saw my reaction video for Halloween, you know. You can probably guess which one this is, and if you haven't, I will put it in the description as well, or up in a card or something, but it is the Bouche de Noel Cleanser, which Bouche de Noel is a French Christmas cake, and it's usually chocolatey and has like this like sweet, creamy, like vanilla filling. However, at Lush, Bouche de Noel is a face cleanser. It usually has cranberries in it. I don't know if it's going to be that way this year or not, but it's usually like cranberry and almond and just like smells like a sweet vanilla delicious dessert for your face and it's one of my favorites and I used to buy it like in bulk at the Boxing Day sale and freeze it and use it all year long so I'm gonna have to do that again this year um, but according to the list it is gonna be almond mandarin and vetiver so no cranberry looks like there's still cranberries in it so maybe it's just not one of the scent notes but all right my Christmas has been made we're done now no, just kidding, because I want to know what else is going to be in here. And then after that, we have another solid cleanser, which is awesome. I feel like we've been missing them at Christmas. And that's the Mary Fignus cleanser. It's, a, it's also a disc um, soft na naked cleanser. And it has it like a little Christmas pudding stamp into the top. So like figgy pudding, you know, playing into that. And it is going to be the figs and honey scent. So figs, benzoin, and myrrh. And then we have the Merry Kissmas lip scrub, which I think is new this year. And it's going to be a black currant, divana, and orange lip scrub. So... That sounds pretty good. All right, and then there is just one more section. Well, actually two, um, and it's the fragrance section. And there's not a ton, it looks like, on the list, but let's check out anyway. First one is a returning oldie, but a goodie, although I think it did have a facelift this year, and it's the Hot Toddy Lush Milk, which if I'm wrong about the facelift, sorry, is gonna be Hot Toddy scented. So Hot Toddy is cinnamon, clove, and patchouli, and orange, and Hot Toddy is also a shower gel, which looks like it's not coming out. And that makes me sad because I only have a little bit left of my hot toddy shower gel. So disappointing. Okay. And then next we have another returning product and that is the turmeric latte perfume, which I didn't realize that was a Christmas product. Is that a Christmas product? I thought that it was just part of the like limited edition products that came out when the new stores opened. Sorry about that. Okay. And then again, another cult classic. There's no photo for it, but it is the Yog Nog body spray, which just like the Snow Fairy body spray, if that did not come out, I think there would be riots. So with that being said, it looks like that's going to be all of the Lush products for Christmas. They're coming out for 2024, but wait, we're not done because Lush is coming out with not one, not two, but it looks like three different advent calendars this year. Some of them I think are going to be released today on the Lush app, and then they'll also be available on the stores in September on um, the 26th, which is when the rest of the collection is going to be released. But um, there will be three different versions, and it looks like... One of them is going to be kind of like a like pull-out shelf. Um, one of them is going to be a like slide one that's going to have the doors on it. And then the last one's going to be like a like open door one. I'll put pictures up so you guys can see. And it looks like the products are similar, but a little bit different. It looks like the first one is going to have some retro products in it, which is really fun if you want to get a hold of those. That soap actually looks really good. Ooh, the Red Rooster soap. Someone stop me. I kind of want to get this gadget calendar just to get the Red Rooster soap. But I also know that I won't wait and use it as an album calendar. I know I'll just open all of them. Second one, again, it looks like it has mostly new products. It has a couple of vintages in there. So it has, it looks like the Golden Pear Shower Gel, which I don't think I've ever actually had Golden Pear Shower Gel. Again, someone come over here and help me. And then the biggest one, at least it looks like the biggest one. I don't think it's actually the biggest one. I think there's all a little bit different, so you can choose what you want. Um, the biggest one, it looks like has all bath products. So that's kind of cool that they're putting in like different 
thing so you can decide if you want like a little bit more shower a little bit more bath or all bath um and that's just straight up all bath bombs and bubble of ours so with that now that we've covered the advent calendar i think that that's everything lush is coming out for christmas this year wow um wow that's a lot i can tell because there's a lot here but also because i've been filming for nearly 40 minutes so this will be fun to cut down but wow I want to buy pretty much everything except for Snow Fairy. If you want to buy some of the Lush Christmas products for 2024, it's coming out on September 26th, so I will be standing probably outside of my store at Open. Of all the products on the list, I think I'm going to have to say that I am most excited about the Boucher Noel Cleanser because it's been my favorite for years and I'm so excited that they're bringing it back. Um, if you're a Lush fan or if you're now a Lush fan because you've seen this video, let me know in the comment section which items you're more, most excited about. Let me know how much you think you're going to spend this year. I'll probably spend a lot. Usually when I buy my ranges I don't even look at the receipt because I don't want to know but let me know what you guys are going to get. Uh, like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Christmas. Bye!